In a moment of quiet contemplation, Isaac considers the adventure so far, on threats they have overcome, and things they have yet to face like Lamacan Desert, a peril so deadly that the heat alone will kill them, never mind enemies that they encounter along the way. He also considers things that are hidden from obvious view, like in this jar here, six gold coins that I'm sure Master Hammer won't miss. After all, she wasn't here to see us take them. We'll return them, I'm sure. Maybe. Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Golden Sun! And when last we left off, we actually have a choice here. We could go straight to Lamakin Desert, or we could go and help Feezy and Master Hammer rescue Hasu, which we're going to do. But first, we're going to do the obvious tutorial for reveal. We were told that we should look for things that aren't in obvious view, and this rock is actually a treasure chest which contains some water of life. As long as you stay within the uh, greyed out area here, you can see things that uh, aren't obviously visible, because they aren't actually what they appear. It does only last for a little while, but it is only one synergy point, which pretty much means you can use it all the time. We might as well grab that before we head out, because we're not going to be going down to Lamakin Desert. We're going to be heading here, to the other side of the Alpine Crossing, where there is Hasu, and he looks to be in some significant pain. That boulder might very well be crushing him, and we could just leave and uh, leave Hasu to his fate, but we're not going to do that. We're going to help out. Using Reveal here, the uh, dots here hint that there's something out of the ordinary. Here is a hidden passageway that leads in this direction, and a cutscene. Hasu, are you okay? I don't think he is. I really don't think he's okay. That looks very painful. Master Hammer, I am okay, but the boulder, I cannot move. That is not surprising, it's probably crushing your legs. Hasu seems unhurt, you must be glad, Feezy. I don't think he's unhurt, I think, as I said before, there's a lot of pain there. Yes, thank you, Master, but how can we free him? You could move the boulder. You could just do that, you know. I don't know what we can do. You could just try and move it. I mean, we're here as well, that's six people. I mean, get something for some leverage and try and shift the boulder. That seems like a good idea. A very good idea. We can now talk to people. Hello, Master Hammer. Well, Isaac, Adems, you came to help. As it was in trouble, as you can see, what should we do? Well, we could just move the boulder. That seems like a great idea. How should we move the boulders? Maybe with our synergy that we happen to have lying around. Be strong, Hasu. We will help you. And by we, I mean Isaac and Co, because we can't do anything here. Hasu tires. He looks exhausted. I'm worried. Hello, Hasu. How are you? I am trapped between these two boulders. Well, so you are. At least I wasn't crushed. I was lucky. You do still look like you're sort of being crushed. I want to scream, but Feezy does not like it when I do that. Yep, he is in significant pain. We could try and move this, and it's actually a really good idea to do so, but we need to be in the right position to make that possible. Let's try here. Will this work? Yes, it will. Aha! Success! Move him quickly before it uh, falls over. Isaac, did you lift the boulder? Yes, we did! Oh my, the boulder! It floats! Yes, it does. Quickly, Feezy, we must pull Hasu free. And they then pull Hasu free. Ready yourself, Hasu. I'm going to pull. One, two, three! And he is now okay. He's halfway out, just a little further. You should just keep pulling and not talking there. Can you hang on just a moment longer, Isaac? Yes, we can. Thank you, Isaac. Ready? I'm going to pull. One, two, three! And now he is okay! We did it! Master Hammer, Hasu is free! Well, it's more accurate to say that we did it. We did it, Feezy. Thank you, Isaac. We must contact Master Fair and ask him to tend to Hasu's injuries. I will ask him to clean up the rocks, too. That is handy! Excellent. If Silk Road remains blocked, everyone will suffer. Everyone will. And now we're back here. Adepts, let me thank you again. I am truly grateful. No problem. 
I did not expect you to come and aid us. Well, why wouldn't we? We're the heroes, and heroes come to help! No, Master Hammer. We are the ones who should be grateful. Thank you for passing the power of reveal on to me. But what you said... What is it, Ivan? Well, what is it? Well, really, I was just... I was the one who suggested we help you, right? Uh, no, you weren't. No, Garrett, you wanted us to get moving. Isaac, Mia, don't make me look like a fool. Then maybe you shouldn't say foolish things, eh? Do not worry, Garrett. I do not mind. Travel well, my friends. I hope to see you soon. You know you interrupted Ivan. You really did just interrupt Ivan. Weren't you going to ask Master Hammer what she meant earlier? He was. We do not know what, when we will be able to see Master Hammer again. Isaac, don't you think we should ask Master Hammer what she meant? Sure, why not? See? If it's bothering you, you should just go ahead and ask now. Thank you, everyone. But it is better that we leave now. What do you mean? Master Hammer hasn't looked me in the eyes since she said those words. Uh-oh. Well, that just makes me even more curious. It seems not to make Ivan curious, though. Don't worry about it. I doubt she would even tell me if I asked. Oh, well, that's just... Master Hammer will tell me when we have completed our mission. If we complete our mission. I have to believe that. And off we go! Is there more dialogue to be had? When your temperature reaches its maximum, you will take tremendous damage. Go quickly, and find yourself an oasis when you get to art. Thank you for that advice. With Reveal, you will find oases with your mind, not with your eyes. Which is very handy. The evil desert is hotter than the sun itself. Look for oases. I don't think you've been on the surface of the sun. I think it's pretty hot. The evil in the desert distorts all, even light. What could be the cause? Well, that's a mirage, and mirages... Not so evil, more a natural phenomenon, really. It is very dangerous to cross Lamakin Desert. Be very careful. I cannot cross the desert. It is too fearsome for me. Also, I'm not wearing any um, clothing that would really help against that. If you wore better clothing to deal with that, like we're not, it would probably do better. I mean, we're about to walk over Lamakin Desert wearing uh, suits of chainmail. That's going to end badly. Welcome, really, Wanderers. What aid do you seek? Nothing, it would seem. Oh, well. Read my mind, okay? For some reason, these people give me... Oh, I'm just repeating dialogue. I don't have any interesting dialogue at all. I believe it is possible to learn the power of prediction by meditating. Do you? Let us read your mind at the correct angle. How nice it would be if I could see the future. It would be good and also bad. There are many ways that seeing the future can be bad. I will be the most thankful once the evil desert returns to normal. It may not ever return to normal. Master Hammer will be very sad if you are lost in the desert. We'll try our best not to be. We can now actually go this way, I believe, through the Alpine Crossing, which is rather useful. Yep, it is now being cleared. How handy! Many people from Zion helped move the rocks. They were very heavy. I almost hurt my back. It is because I have not been training. Well, you should train a little more. Training never hurt anyone. Except the people that train too much and end up hurting themselves. We move the rocks. Now people can pass. And now nobody will go to Alton, unfortunately. We cleared the way. But what about these rocks? Must we clear these? I'm sure you'll be fine. We could pop over to Zion quickly. It seems like something we could do. I mean, uh, things might have changed a little bit, and heading over here isn't too bad just to see Master Fett and Feezy and see how they are. Any interesting dialogue to be had over there? There's only one way to find out, and that's to pop over and say hello. Hello, how is everyone? Any dialogue to be had? Pasu is resting. Feezy is watching over him. They will be glad to see you. Well, let's go and say hello, shall we? Hello, how are you? Are you well? Oh, warrior, welcome. Hello. Hazu was saved thanks to you and Master Hammer. You have my deepest gratitude. No problem. Let's read your mind. 
Master Hammer has great power. You do too, young warrior. You are both amazing. Hello, Hazu. I was injured by rocks on my way from Lama Temple. I know! We were there! We helped save you! I am sad my training could not help me. Sometimes you're just unfortunate, no matter how much training you have. I, I knew help would come when I was trapped. I must thank everyone. Well, no problem. Glad to be of service. Feezy's prediction came true. Now I believe she can foresee things. Did it take somebody nearly dying for that to happen? Did it really need to take that? Feezy's ability to sense trouble is real. I'm quite surprised. You really shouldn't be that surprised. Also, there is nothing in here. What about in here? Nothing there either. I think we should just go now. It was interesting to uh, pop back here and uh, see that bit of dialogue. There's nothing really important to it. But hey, every little bit of flavour helps in uh, building up the world and all the uh, lore around it. Besides, it's not a very long diversion now that the Alpine Crossing is cleared. Imagine if this hadn't been cleared and uh, you had to go all the way through the Outen Mine to get back to uh, Lamican Desert. That would be terrible. And here is the entrance to Lamican Desert. And you see that bar on the left hand side? That is the bar for heat. When you're in these areas that are the uh, darker patches of sand, you don't take any damage whatsoever. But when you go into the other areas here, you will take uh, heat as a sort of uh, measured variable. And once it reaches the top there, you take a significant amount of damage. Case in point, that there just went up and we gained nothing for it. We need to head over here. Just walking around here saps every ounce of my strength. Everyone is going to complain about this. Ew, my clothes are drenched in sweat. This is gross. We are also going to get some encounters with grubs here that are armed with spears. They are indeed some very uh, tremendously powerful foes compared to what we've uh, faced before. 60 damage there, 77, not too powerful though, but they could do some more damage. Also level 17, and mastered the magician's bind. We are in quite a bind indeed, haha, <laughs> because we're in a desert and we're all probably going to die. You can see that the uh, bar there is flashing. Ugh, I can't stand it, my feet are burning. Well, fortunately we have a handy uh, circle of rocks here that reveal an oasis that we all jump into and it's brilliant. Excellent, we need more things like that. There are, I think, multiple routes we can take. There is uh, this way, that way, and many other routes. Uh, there are also some nice items that we can get. And the rat fight is a sort of a, uh, a holdover from the previous area. Unfortunately for them, also we now have the ability to block a foe's synergy with a spell, which sort of justifies our, um, our switching out of that uh, item. Also, I think using uh, water synergy here is a great idea. I imagine a few of these enemies will be weak to it. Let's have a look, shall we? Not that one or that one. Not that one either. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe fire just needs to be used here as well. There are definitely some enemies here that are weak to um, the Mercury synergy. We just haven't met them yet. It was just my gut instinct to try. Also, Psy Leech there. Excellent. It does remove synergy from the uh, opponents, which is good. What is in here, I wonder? There's only one way to find out, and that's to check. There's a stone here that will heal our synergy. Do we really want that right now? I'm not sure we do. Do we want to go up here? I think we want to go up here. I can't stop sweating. I wish I bought a change of clothes. There is one minor thing that I want to point out, and that is that um, you have the ability, and uh, so does Garrett, and so does Ivan, to make ice and water. You could literally just uh, douse us all in water, and that would be fine. But the game won't let you do that. And also, here is another oasis, which is brilliant. I think we actually want to... Uh, going up there does not work. And indeed, she can't stop sweating, so we might as well... Ooh, I was about to say we could uh, travel back and see if there was an alternate route, but here is a pair of orcs, and indeed, we were caught by surprise, and these enemies hit quite hard. So I think a uh, selection of attacks... Actually, we want to experiment with uh, which attacks the uh, orcs are weak to. And we do have a uh, synergy stone nearby, so we really don't have any... Uh, there's no downside to doing this. All right, is lightning. It is lightning! Well, that was easy. And it most certainly is, um, well, that's moderate amount of damage. What about Swords of Venus Energy from the sky? 
Okay, that is not a significant amount of extra damage, but still, uh, 110 is good. Also, that is alright as well. So they are weak to, uh, Jupiter Synergy. Fair enough. I don't think there's an alternate route here, so we're just going to, uh, grab this. I'm so thirsty. Water! I need some water! I'm sure we'll be fine. We'll just, uh, reveal this stone here, and then we'll, uh, cast some healing magic, like this, uh, wish. There we go! We wish for some water! We won't get water, though, but we will get that there. We need to very quickly go up here before something... If we don't find an oasis soon, I'm gonna shrivel up and blow away! Don't worry, an oasis is literally over here. Reveal the water! Excellent! And now we're all better. We want to head in this direction, I believe, up into this, uh, new area. There are branching paths, and sometimes things will, um... Oh, indeed, she can't stop sweating. Things will go wrong if we head the wrong way. And there is a downside to searching all of these out. Sometimes you'll find an ant lion and you won't be able to escape, which is terrible. The ant lions are really vicious, and we need to find out very quickly what they're weak to. I doubt it's going to be fire. I'm just thinking, do I even try? We might as well have a look. It's not going to be fire. Let's see here. Ice as well. Is it lightning? The answer is no. Is it water? The answer is yes. This is an enemy that is weak to, uh, Mercury Synergy. But then again, everything is weak to a Magic Venusaur to the face. Also, that is Flare Wall. It doesn't do a lot of damage, and not surprisingly, that does nothing. So we want to focus on using uh, Synergy from, uh, Ivan to defeat these enemies quickly. They are quite good at dodging, and they do have a fair amount of health, but we have managed to defeat him and got a vial for our trouble. Ew, her clothes are covered in sweat, just like they always are. There are items nearby, and there are things that we can uh, get. We actually probably want to... Is this an oasis? This is an oasis, which is good. We might want to go the other way, actually. The other way might be better, as sometimes... Uh, ugh, this desert is much hotter than I ever imagined. Well, it is an evil desert. I can't keep my cool when it's this hot. I doubt anyone can. What is over here that was worth it? There is something that might even be worth us taking damage from the heat, and that is a treasure chest. That is the Vulcan Axe, which is a very unique weapon. The Vulcan Axe actually deals damage, um, with an element. It deals, um, deals, um, Mars damage, I believe. We most certainly want to equip that, and we don't want to equip it on Ivan, because Ivan can't equip it. Here, take a cookie that looks like a duck. Uh, hold on to that, and we'll give this over to, uh, might as well actually give it over to, um, let's see, give it to you. It's quite a good weapon, it does deal a little bit more damage, we'll give it to Garrett actually. We could give it to, um, Isaac, but if we give it to Garrett, that focuses all the, uh, all of the Mars synergy on one character, and there is another, um, new, um, enemy, the Fighter B. We've already seen, uh, Fighter Bs before, but in a different, um, color, coordination there, really. They coordinate their colors differently, dependent upon which area they're in. This one is far nastier. We want to use definitely a Ragnarok here. We're going to be taking some, uh, substantial damage from the, uh, from the heat in a moment, but we should be okay. And I think maybe a Plywell? No, I don't think we should use a Plywell yet. We'll just use an attack for now. Lightning! Very effective, very effective, and very effective! Marvelous, and we'll take some, uh, well, we'll just defeat that enemy. And here is a Sword of Power! 113 damage, and you're just defending. And here is a move that uh, recovers hit points for the Orc. I did not know that they had that ability. It's not really going to help you, because we're about to uh, defeat you completely. Goodbye, Orc. And a fair amount of experience. Unfortunately, uh, indeed, your feet are burning. Here comes some damage. As a comparison, we're at uh, this hit point total. Now we are at that hit point total. It's not a huge amount of damage, but it does stack up eventually. You need to be very careful. Just walking around here indeed saps my very strength. It is a very dangerous place to be. Might as well use this up. Uh, Oh yes, that was a ant lion, wasn't it? I forgot that that was an ant lion. Well, looks like we'll be fighting you again. Oops. Well, if nothing else, it is a good source of uh, it's a good source of experience. We'll uh, definitely use an attack here. We could actually try sleep. Let's try the uh, sleep synergy. 
it might work, you never know. Will it work? The answer is, yes it will. Marvelous! And there is some ice to deal a lot of damage. Ragnarok, because it always just deals tons of damage. And here is some uh, 54 points of damage. Not bad. It's ideally, um, ideally you want to be using the Vulcan Axe in an area where the enemies are uh, not resistant to um, the Mars synergy of Mars attacks, but it will be useful later. We want to head up here instead. And there is an oasis here, don't worry Ivan. An oasis of calming coolness which uh, happens to be water shaped and water textured. In fact it is just water. And when we come back folks, there is a lot more desert ahead of us. And there are more encounters with grubs and rat fighters that we'll be dealing with. Let's just uh, focus attacks like that, shall we? One attack there, one attack here, one attack there, and an attack back. There is also Barrage, which deals a lot of damage. That is the other advantage of the Vulcan Axe. It does deal a lot of damage with the Unleash. More against enemies that are weak to Mars Synergy, of course, but uh, I don't think we'll be fighting any of them for a little bit. There we go. And level 18 for Mia. Always good to see another level up. We are quite high level. And when we come back, folks, we're definitely going to have to find a way over here. This is a very large part of the map. One of these, by the way, has a Jin on it. The, um, well, the uh, circles. They have a Jin inside. We're going to have to find that Jin. I think we might even have to fight the Jin. I don't remember. But either way, that Jin must be found before we leave Lamican Desert. A place full of, well, heat-based peril. And there's a boss, and it's quite a nasty boss if I remember. But that will be for another time. But I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. This place is really hot. Everywhere is sort of mirage-like. No wonder the enemies can sort of sneak up on us, even though there isn't really much to hide behind. I mean, I don't see a huge encounter hiding behind that cactus in front of us, do you? But there may be. Maybe the cactus isn't real! But we can still collide with it, so it's probably real. Later.